first go and check our information that we have been given so that we will know what will be required and the information that we have to use. Okay, and let's check. Then they said uh, activity number three, balance it with notes and calculation. Then you are provided with the information relating to TikTok LTD, their financial year ended 80 June 2018. Okay, then a required part. They said you have to complete a balance sheet. Then 3.2 is the one that we are looking for for now. Okay, then they said calculate amount due to or by sales for income tax 30 June 2018. Okay, then the other one that we are looking for is a uh, question 3.3.3. .3. Okay, trade and other payable notes. Okay, there is the reason I skip the other two notes is because I have another video that you can go and check where I have been preparing ordinary share capital and retaining innings notes. Okay, then let's check our information again. Then they give us uh, the two required that we are going to calculate for the year ended 30 June 2018. Okay, then the information that we have, then they said amount extracted from record on 30 June 2018 after all adjustment has been taken into account okay then they didn't give us a share capital amount retaining innings income mortgage loan data control and so on and so on okay as you can check there guys sales income tax they didn't give us the balance the reason is because we are looking for that amount okay then let's go to information number b then they said a debit balance of sales Income tax on 1 July 2027. This is the beginning of the year. It was 10,800. Okay. Then a tax refund received from SARS is uh, 10,800 as well. Then we have a total provisional tax payment. Okay. I'm going to explain that into detail. Then we also have income tax rate, which is 80%. Okay. Then the net profit after tax, then they give us a 604,800. Okay. The reason why they give us the net profit after tax is because, guys, remember, they didn't give, give us the amount of income tax as per income statement. So, we have to calculate according to that 30% that we have been given. Okay, then with this information, guys, we can be able to calculate our income tax payable or receivable. Okay, then now... The easy step that I want us to use, guys, is to use this format. Okay, so this is just income tax a T account. Okay, as you know, income tax T account, guys, is liability. This is a liability account. In other words, you also have to know that on the debit side, it's a decrease. On the credit side, it's increase. In other words, guys, whenever we reduce our debt to SARS, we're going to debit. But if liability goes up or if we owe SARS, we have to indicate on the credit side. Simple as that. For example, any balance that you will be given at the beginning of the year, you will write it on the credit side. Any payment that we're going to make to SARS, we're going to record it on the on the debit side because we are reducing what a liability okay now let's go back to the question let's start with the first one they said a debit balance of sales income tax on 1 july 2017 is 10,800 so this 10,800 guys they say is a debit balance so if they said it's a debit balance you have to write it as it is on the debit balance okay however but if they said it's a credit balance you have to write it on the credit side okay let's start with the balance of 10,800 simple as that let's go to the next information again then they said a tax refund received from SARS on 25 July 2013 is amount of 10,800 now the reason is, do we have to record that 10,800 again? No, guys. Remember, the reason that we have a debit balance is because SARS was owing us as a company. Which means that that amount that they owe us 
they refund it on the date that we have been given of 25 July 2017. Okay? So no need to, to record that. If we record that amount, guys, we are going to do a double amount, which is very, very incorrect. Okay? Then the next one, they say a tax, provisional tax payment during the year is amount of 212,800. Now, guys, we have made a payment to SAS. Simple means that we reduce what? A liability. Okay? We make a payment of 4,212,200. Two okay? We call it a bank because it's provisional payment. Provisional payment means that we have paid the certain amount to SAS to reduce what? Our liability that we still go to reflect. Okay, let's read the next one. Okay, then they said income tax rate is 30%. Then they didn't give us the amount. Okay, don't worry. It's very simple in, in this case. Because they give us a net profit after tax as per income statement of amount of 640 and 800, which means that we can be able to do a reverse. Okay, let's do a reverse, guys. Very, very, very simple. Okay, the amount that we have is amount of 604 and 800. This is a profit after tax. Okay, then what we should do, we are looking for the 30%. Out of how many percent? Is it this amount 100%? No, it's not 100%. Is 70 percent because it's already subtracted a tax amount okay what we are looking for we put it on top a 30 and what we have we have 70 okay let's do the calculation and you see it's gonna be how much okay the amount is six four four eight hundred then we multiply by 80%, 30 percent 30 over 70 then it's gonna give us amount of 259 200 okay then amount of 259 200 guys simple means that this amount we are going to record it on the credit side because this amount is going to increase what a liability okay this is income tax expense that we record under income statement okay income tax expense please make sure that you also show this calculation because you are going to in some marks when you show this a uh, calculation 259 200 simple as that guys simple as that okay now let's check do we have any further information and uh, let's go our table on the table we don't have any information okay let's scroll down no any other information guys which means that now in this case we can be able to calculate whether it's payable or receivable to start okay what you have to do we add both sides and check which side is higher than than the other side okay this side of course is 259 200 okay of course it's higher than this side because this side is going to give us uh, a 13,000 plus 10,000 year 23 23,000 okay we can write it here which means that this side is higher 259 200 then after that which means that we can take this one and subtract these two okay 259 minus the amount of 10,000 meter drive then we also subtract the amount of 212 200 okay then we left with amount of 36 200 okay this is the balance 
product which we have to do what a balance carry down okay so in other words if the carry down is on the credit side this is means that this is balance we call it due to SARS we still owe the SARS guys because what we pay is very less with what we we are owing very simple very simple so if you don't understand this notes guys please make sure that you put the comment so that i can explain to you where you get a stack okay don't forget to like this video guys and subscribe because i'm still do, going to do a lot of videos okay let's proceed to the next note the next note of receivable and payable okay so this amount of 36,200 we are still going to use it 36,200 okay okay let me write it somewhere 36,200 so that i won't forget okay now we are preparing trade and other payables okay it's a note guys it's not a t account okay number one let's start with simple one because we already calculated ne? sales income tax okay which was 36,000 200 okay we start with this one because we already prepare uh, the amount and we know that it's liability but if it was a uh, carry down on the debit side guys it's fall under trade under receivable okay then let's go to our information now <laughs> let's start with the table and check any other tables that we have okay we have a um, share capital which is no retaining income no Mortgage loan, no. Debtors control, no. Creditors control, yes. So, creditors control, we are going to edit. Creditors control. Then, the amount that we have is 75,000. Okay. Now, let's check the other one. We have accrued income. Accrued income simply means that we still owe. That income is it liability no it's not liability then let's go to income received in advance we receive income in advance but we haven't yet performed what obligation which means that we still owe our customer okay which means that income received in advance will fall under payable okay then the amount is 8,500 simple as that guys simple stuff okay then we have a prepaid expense and accrued expense okay prepaid expense guys we paid expense in advance we don't owe anyone but someone owing us which means that it's receivable but accrued expense means that we owe which means that it's liability under payable Accrued expense. Okay, then the amount is six thousand one hundred. Okay, then we also have such income tax. We wrote it. Then we have a bank overdraft. Okay, let's check if we have any other information that we can. Calculate a bank overdraft. Okay. Okay. Uh, before I forgot, we also have information number F, E, F, and G. Okay. Let's start with them so that we can uh, go back to that one. Okay. Then they said a dividend, interim dividend amount paid uh, on 1 Jan December 2017 is 100,000. It's not form part of this note, but we have final dividends of um, 20 cent per share that has been declared at the end of the year. This simple means that 
we have shareholders for dividends and you know that shareholders for dividends fall under this note okay let's say shareholders for dividends okay but they give us a 20 cent a share which means that we still have to do what to calculate okay let's go and calculate this note let's go and calculate okay let's go to information then they say tiktok ltd registered with a share capital of eight hundred thousand ordinary share this is the same as authorized share of eight hundred thousand okay then number two they say it 50% of authorized share were in issue. Okay. 50% of 800 guys is 400,000. Okay. Now we want the balance of the share at the end so that we can multiply it with 20 cents. Okay. Then, then they said 100,000 share were issued. 100,000 share were issued is a plus. Then repurchase of share they said is 30,000. Okay, if you add 400,000 plus 100,000, it will give you 500,000. Then you minus 30,000, it will give you 470,000 share. Then you multiply by 20%. Okay, or 20 cent is still gonna give you the same answer. Okay, let me do the conclusion. We're gonna say the amount okay we're gonna say amount of 470 thousand multiplied by 20 cent plus 94 thousand okay Let's proceed to the next one. Okay guys, so the last part that we left with was to calculate the bank overdraft. As you know that the bank overdraft is liability. However, in this case guys, we won't be able to get the balance of the bank overdraft. The reason is because we have to calculate all the balance sheet so that we can do the balancing figure for this uh, bank overdraft which uh, for this video we are not going to cover a balance sheet however guys please make sure that you stay on this channel because more and more videos is going to be uploaded that is going to assist you to write your exam to